Peter Haddock and I'm here with my great friend Carl from Steel Wrist at Bauma, folks, on the stand. Carl, big news yet again, more product innovation. What have we got here? Star of the show, isn't it? This is a star of the show. This is our X07 tilt rotator, now with SQ40. What is SQ40, you ask? Yep, I do. Uh, so that is the fully automatic coupler system that we bring into the smaller, the compact excavator, four to six ton. We have two machines in our show, the Vakanoison and the Kubota, both running with SQ40, sharing all the work tools, both mechanical, yep. but with this, you can, as you see here, attach a powered work tool, a grapple, yep. a compactor or a pallet forks. Super convenient. You don't have to step out of the cab. Just, just efficiency in a, in a compact format. And the thing about this is like, you know, you see so many attachments now with smaller excavators, they've got the hydraulic power. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're giving them the capability to go, 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 exactly. and be really more productive yeah. on the job site. Exactly, and that's what we're showing. I mean, we're simulating a job here yeah. during our show where the two machines share all these work tools. They do tons of changes and then finalize the job together. And that's what you exactly used to say. That's what you see today. We bring in this to the smaller machines that do jobs in confined spaces, in cities, and now you have SQ40 to really increase your efficiency. Now you've got a little badge, MIG 4.0. Come on, we've got to it's, find out what that is all about. Absolutely, of course. So, MIG, MIG 4.0. Yeah, what is that? I don't know, you've got banners here, you've got a sticker here. Yeah, yeah, what is so, it all about? What is it all about? So the MIG-4 protocol defines communication between machine and attachment. MIG is machine in construction. Here we are showing our X12 tilt rotator, which is MIG-4 bus ready. That right. means that we, you can immediately attach this to your machine. Example, Vakanoison EW100, which is MIG-4 ready. Yeah. You have a Liebherr that's supplying MIG-4 ready, Volvo common MIG-4 ready machines. It's making the installation so smooth you have an electric connector, which right. is defined by MIG-4. Yep. You have the protocol. We have the software in our MIG-4 ready tilt rotator module. You plug it into the machine and you set to tell the machine, I am a tilt rotator, yep. I'm an X12. And there you go, it's all integrated, so easy. Wow, and that is all about making that so easy for customers to install, for people to get ready and for yeah. people to get working on the job site. And equally, if I've got machines that I need to transfer this one to from another machine, Correct. that is MIG4 ready, then that process is so quick, isn't it? So, so smooth. And we've been in together with our SVAB control system partner, in the, in the work groups defining the standard. So we are super excited that it's here. We are supplying a bunch of these tilt rotators already today, and we see more and more manufacturer go into watch MIG-4, which we think is great. So Carl, we've had a big announcement, OpenS standard as well here at Bauma. OpenS really another important integration in the industry, isn't it? For customers to get the best out of their machines. Yes. What's it about and why is this one more significant now? So what is OpenS? Well, OpenS is giving the customer and the contractor the freedom to match and combine work tools from different attachment manufacturers. Just right. as simple as that. Yeah, yeah. But why is it so significant? Well, like your USB-C on your phone <laughs> or on your iPad, this is the same, but it's a little bit more complicated in terms of what we define the hydraulic interface yep. in the OpenS. Now the news is we have also within the OpenS Alliance defined the electrical connector for the MIG-4 protocol. Right. So the V14 MIG-4 connector is now standard in an OpenS combination. So here we're showing our friends from Rototilt, their quick really? shape. They're, they're yeah. done, uh, still resident Rototilt yes, on a stand together. Naturally. Fantastic. Yeah, the founding two partners, yeah. Steelrist and Rototilt. Yeah. yeah. Their quick change with our XTR20 with the V14 electrical connector. So we work together and this is for the benefit of the customer. Absolutely. So the customer choice is there. If I've bought something, I don't want to have to do all these different changes. Correct. If I've got different machines, like we said with the MIG 4.0, this is about saying to people value, value on all the stuff that you're investing in yeah. and integration and collaboration with the industry. Never did I think I'd see that when I was walking around no. your stand car. That's no. brilliant news from Steelrid. 
Carl said when we launched the XR20 in Hamburg that we've got more to come. Now we have the little one, don't we? Yes, so here is XTR15, little brother of the XTR20. Yeah. And of course we have bigger sister as well. The feedback from the XTR20 has just been fantastic. Customers yeah. loving it. We, told, we talked about the, the new gripper with the downward angle. Yeah. That is, customers love that. We talked about shorter cylinder, tilt cylinders. Customers love that. We talked about upgradability. Yep. This one is standard S. Over there you see the uh, SQ. Yep. You can easily upgrade this one to SQ at a later stage if you want. What has been the critical key point of the feedback from the customers that have been using this already then? So from the day-to-day -day job? Well, from the day-to-day, -day, uh, the things I mentioned, the, the gripper, the compactness, that it's, I mean, it's beautiful as well. It's looking great. It's, it's a cast, it's, you have a casted upper body, casted gearbox, and a casted uh, attachment coupler, making it so compact, material in the right place, the upgradability, shorter tilt cylinders. This one doesn't have the gripper, but the great optional gripper cassette. Customers love that one. So the feedback has just been fantastic from day number one. We're running it, of course, the XR20 yep. in the show with the Volvo. Yep. Uh, full SQ SQ combination. Fantastic. But it gets bigger now and this uh, Carl, it might seem like a beast but it's still not huge as in the size and the footprint, is it? No. No, it's not. It's this is the XCR 23. This is big sister yep. for the machines this very important 20 ton segment, 22 ton yeah, segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Critical segment for tilt rotators. Yep. So now we have little brother XCR 15. The one launched launch year, XTR20, and now comes XTR23. Here at Vauma, we're showing it with SQ70-55, more specific for the German market. Right. It also comes with the standard S70 interface, SQ70 interface. Fantastic. So, folks, we've got Steel Wrist collaborating in the industry in two different ways. We've got new products coming through. We've got the range extension. We've got the great feedback from the customers already. And... They've certainly put on a show here at Bauma. Great to see you again, Carl. The innovation keeps coming, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Cheers. Great. Cheers.